Over the past year, I have shot a lot of film on my Canon AE-1, and I have a lot of leftover film just from this past year, and also from my recent trip to Iceland that I've been needing to develop. And instead of taking it to some sort of place to get it developed, I decided just because I have so much film to develop, that I'll just get all of my own equipment and develop it myself. So I just bought a nice kit with all the powders and everything. I just bought all the stuff I'm gonna need. And so let's get right to it. So I just finished making all of these guys. I got a powder kit, because that was all that was available, so I had to make these guys. Um, so now that they're made, I'm actually gonna get on to the developing process. So you have to put your film on the, these film reels. Uh, some developing tanks have one reel, this one just happens to have two. So you have to load your film up in either a dark room or if you have one of these nifty developing bags. Now that we have the film in the developing tank, we can go ahead and start the developing process, which just starts with pre-soaking. So now we're gonna go into my bathroom and do this probably about as ghetto as you can get it. First we need to soak the film in water that's 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm here in my bathroom just trying to get water that's the right temperature. So good for one minute. So I'm putting these in here so that they uh, can raise up to the temperature they're supposed to be. So the developer is right at temperature. So we're gonna to wanna to put this in here for 3.5 minutes. So we have to agitate it every 30 seconds. All right, time to go again. supposed to do the same thing with the next chemical, the Blix, except it's for six and a half minutes and consecutively every 30 seconds, same as the developer. seconds and it's supposed to be room temperature Shoot, dude. I can't 
see. It's pretty incredible. Oh, there you go. We'll see how these turned out as soon as they're done drying.